Hey guys, Nichols Retirement Empire, it's Chris. Um, I'm going to do an educational vlog today. So uh, I know a lot of you watch me, you like my videos that are funny and all that kind of stuff. Well, this one's going to be a little bit different. This will be a serious one. Everybody seems to be interested in why teachers quit uh, or, you know, problems with the education system, things like that. So uh, stay tuned. Let's talk about that. Next thing uh, that we're going to look at is, um, and, and this is one a lot of people don't want to talk about. And they do not want to bring up. But I believe that a lot of people quit teaching because of the students. Uh, because of student behavior, for lack of a better way to put it. Um, I believe that when people say, because one of the first things, well, the number one reason that they give in surveys and studies that people quit, is they'll say they quit because they had a lack of administrative support. And I believe what they mean by a lack of administrative support is that uh, the students were acting up in my room. I couldn't get the students to act right. Little, you know, Johnny did this. And then I called in an administrator and, you know, nothing changed. Uh, little Johnny either didn't get the discipline that I felt he deserved or he got put in in school suspension and he came back and he acted the same way or he got put in out of school suspension and he came back and he acted the same way. And he's just totally making it where I cannot teach in my class. Um, and that's one of the things I have seen people come in uh, and quit teaching on the first day. Uh, I have seen all kind of, you know, YouTube videos where people talk about, I don't know how anybody can do this. These kids are horrible. You know, that kind of thing. Uh, I have seen people quit in the first week. I have seen subs leave during the middle of the day. Uh, I have seen all those situations and all the different schools that I have worked at uh, as, an, as a teacher and as an administrator. And... Um, you know, I, I do believe that's one of the big things is it is, you know, student behavior is an issue. Um, now, nobody wants to say that. Nobody wants to say bad things about kids or kids don't know how to act. Th you know, nobody wants to be a person that has to say that. Uh, and, and I'm not, you know, blaming it all on the kids by any means. Uh, the way society is now with a lot of these students, I mean, if you go home and your parents have no respect uh, for any authority whatsoever. Uh, they have no respect for the government. They have no respect for the police. They have no respect for clergy. They have no respect for teachers. They, you know, those kids are not going to come in your room and come into your, um, you know, domain and come in there and act right. Uh, they have no respect for their parents. They have no fear of their parents. They have no, uh, you know, nobody makes them act any you know, certain way. They can act the way they want at home, stuff like that. And they come into a public or private school room situation and they're going to continue to act the way that they act. And the sad uh, reality is with teachers today is you you have to be prepared to deal with those kind of students. They are going to be in your classroom and there's nothing you can do about them being in your classroom. Um, and what I think a lot of them think is that, well, when they act up, they're going to get taken out and they're going to be, you know, well, they may get taken out for a while. Administrators uh, in these different school systems, you know, they're not just going to take them out of your class forever. Um, you, you know, eventually they're going to be in that room. Uh, everybody has a right to a free and appropriate public education. Uh, all the, the government um, regulations and all the district, you know, regulations and the state regulations and the federal regulations all favor keeping kids in classrooms. They don't want to be taken out of classrooms anymore. Uh, they want them kept in there. That you know, if teachers are going to be measured by student growth and by student, uh, you know, success on standardized tests and things like that, they're not in classroom. They're not going to be learning. Um, so you know, that's one of the things. The trends now are to keep that kid in the classroom. When I first became an administrator. Uh, they felt like we were a good administrator if we did a lot of referrals. We did a lot of write-ups. Um, my first two or three years as an administrator, we were doing over a thousand write-ups apiece. You know, and they're like, what, what a good administrator you are. Well, if I was doing a thousand write-ups right now, uh, you know, as an administrator, they would think I was a terrible administrator. So now it's about finding ways to keep the kid in the classroom. Now, um, the other thing that they look at is, right, well, let's address the problems that the students have that caused them to act, you know, improperly in a classroom. Maybe the kid's hungry. Maybe the kid, you know, at home, they're not getting enough attention or maybe this. So now we're trying to address all of these situations to try to prevent poor behavior. 
But the problem is, uh, those are things that are like long term. It takes a long time to address these social issues that kids may have. And in the meantime, the teacher needs to teach today. You know, they need the kid to act right right now because I've only got so many days with these kids in class and then they have a test and they're going to have to do well on this test. So what teachers need is like an immediate uh, fix. And what happens is, you know, with the administration part is they think they're going to call the administration in and the administration is going to fix it and they cannot. Um, and, and they, that, you know, if they could do that, um, you know, you wouldn't have any problems in the school. But uh, the other thing that you look at, too, as an administrator, uh, is I will see this group of kids, and I mean, the teacher's calling me down there every day. Uh, they can't act right. They're doing this. They're doing that. And then you have another teacher. They're in there, all the same kids, the next period, and they all got great for that teacher. You know, and the administrators have a hard time answering, why is it? Why does this teacher not have any problems? You know, and then this other teacher have problems all day long. And I do believe that a lot of it is, if you're the kind of person, if you believe that kids are just naturally going to respect you uh, and kids are just going to do what you tell them, like you start talking and they start listening, that's not the way education necessarily is now. And you've got to be able to be the kind of person that gets them, you know, gets them engaged and gets them to listen and gets them to want to act right for you uh, or can just get them to act right for you. I don't know the answer. I don't know how to do all of that. Um, different people do it different ways. But the bottom line is the teacher in the classroom really is kind of on their own in there. The administrator cannot stay in the room and they have got to be able to figure out how do I do this? Um, because people are doing it. I mean, there are people that those kids are acting right for and those kids are working hard for. And you know, this one does it this way and this other teacher does it a different way. So if, if you are the kind of person that when you get into the classroom and you become a teacher and you get in there and, and you cannot control them whatsoever and you can't figure out how, that's why they quit. Um, it is very difficult and some people can do it and some people can't. And um, it's not about liking kids. You know, it's not about trying to be not, you know, like I can sit here and say, I like kids. What I, I like teaching kids. I'm not going to go hang out and have a good time with kids all day. Uh, I don't want to hang around a 13 year old. <laughs> They're my kids, you know, and, and sometimes I don't want to hang around them, you know, but um, nobody, you know, if you're an adult, you can't just say, well, I like kids and I can just do it. You have to like teaching kids. Uh, it's different and you have to be able to do it. But the person that goes into it thinking, I'm the boss, I'm going to take control, I'm going to tell them what to do, and they're going to listen to me or else. Uh, society and the education system is not on the side of that person now. And <clears throat> there are people that do kind of operate that way, and some of them make it work for them. Uh, but teaching is difficult. Student behavior is hard to handle. And some people get into it and it's so bad they can't deal with it. And it's very discouraging. But I do believe that's one of the big reasons that people quit is student behavior. And, you know, maybe some expectations that they had about student behavior that are not true. You know, they think, well, if I go in there and I really love them, they'll act right. And they, they might act right for you. They may not. Uh, I've seen teachers that just they just love the kid and they just care so much. And then the kids just run all over them and that, that doesn't work. So again, I don't have the answers, but uh, I do know that there are people that do it. And there are people that can deal with all these kids and deal with their disrespect and make it stop and make, you know, and they learn in their classrooms. Uh, but I do think a lot of people quit because they, they don't expect that. They grew up respecting teachers. That's why they want to be a teacher. Uh, they grew up respecting schools because that's why they want to work in a school. And they have a hard time dealing with people that do not. And a lot of people do not. It's not just kids. It's adults. It's parents, uh, community, you know, people that have no respect for the school, no respect for teachers. And they make a job very difficult. So um, I'll leave it at that. Um, feel free to leave any comments. I'll be glad to reply to them. 
Uh, this is my opinion uh, as a teacher for 17 years and as an administrator for 12 years. Um, this is, you know, my my opinion that I have. So you're free to yours. Um, like I said, be glad to answer any questions you guys have. Thanks for watching Nichols Retirement Empire. I'll do some more educational blogs as we get into school. Have a good day.